How's it going everyone? You have no idea how excited I am to introduce you to the first ever episode of Fitness Frenzy on BTTV. Come on, get up, let's Sorry. go! It's been months in the planning, but without further ado, coming up this week on Fitness Frenzy, we've got Budget Build, Munch Mile, Segment Smackdown, and finally, Shrimp Bike Bun. Starting things off with a segment that challenges both carpentry and fitness skills. To make things even harder, it also has to be done on a budget. Let's head to the workshop for Budget Build, where the challenge is to build a pair of running shoes and run a sub six minute mile, all for under $50. With the $50 budget for this challenge, I got two packs of Scotch-Brite pads, two microfiber washcloths, one roll of duct tape, one length of paracord, and a big parking sign. And all that came to exactly $49.61. So it was perfect. Let's put an hour on the clock and let's get building in three, two, one, go. So bad. <laughs> oh, absolutely beautiful. Made like a sock, slide your foot in. It's holding its shape, nice and padded. You even got like some carbon plates in there. One more shoe to make. We gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. <laughs> Here they are, all finished. I'm gonna call them the Smurf shoes. I'm actually pretty optimistic that these bad boys will make it for a sub six minute mile. I don't think they'll last much longer than a mile, but the only thing to do now is head down there and test them out. In three, two, one. Five minutes and 47 seconds. I can go another five miles in these things. Wow. They're, they're perfect. 
amazing. We did it. How about that? A 547 mile on essentially a pair of sponges. We have the official Strava file over here to prove it. But I'd say we passed that challenge with flying colors. Coming up next, you've had a glimpse of this segment before, but it's all about eating quickly and running fast. The food changes every time, but the rules don't. So let's grab our donuts and head down to the food court because it's time for the Krispy Kreme Munch Mile. And welcome to the food court for BTTV's Munch Mile. Today is the Krispy Kreme Mile where Ben will be eating three donuts, running a quarter of a mile and doing that four times. So there are of course penalties. Uh, yellow card is a 10 second penalty. That will be for taking your first drink of water or running with your mouth full. And there are red cards, which is a 20 second penalty. And that'll be for more serious infringements of the rules as I make them up as we go along. Well, Ben's ready for the Krispy Kreme mile. So let's get munching. Ben, you're gonna start on my whistle. Three, two, one. Don't forget there'll be penalties for mess. But this is much slower than I thought. Three to go. Go! And he's off again. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa. Again on his third quarter of the line. Looking maybe a tad slower. So let's see how quickly Ben can manage the final three donuts. It's obviously becoming harder to swallow and breathe. Mm. Yeah. He's on to his last donut. His final quarter mile. Here he comes on the home straight. Oh. 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 <laughs> so Ben emerges from the Krispy Kreme mile with no penalties imposed. So let's now head back to the studio and see where it ends up on the leaderboard. We've already done the Big Mac mile, but this time it was a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. So let's bring down the leaderboard and see the current standings. Now, can we get Krispy Kreme on the board? Now the time to beat and jump up to top spot in the munch mile is 13 minutes and 25 seconds. So let's see the time of the Krispy Kreme mile. the time of 9 minutes and 36 seconds, we have a brand new Munch Mile leader. Now it's time to move on to where we pick local Strava segments and seek to top the charts and steal the KOM crown. Taking a quick look at the segment we're up against this time, 
It's a 1.81 mile segment, starting with a long downhill and ending with a steep half mile hill. The time to beat and steal the crown is set at four minutes and four seconds. So let's head outside and hop on our bikes because it's time for Segment Smackdown. So we're here at the start of the segment and the plan is for Josh to pull me along all the way to the base of the big hill and he's gonna send me on my way and I just have to push as much power as possible all the way to the top. And three, two, one, go! Go, go, go. Thank you, thank you. I honestly have no idea if I got that or not. That was super tough. But let's head back to the studio and let's check the results. So the time to beat was four minutes and four seconds. Josh and I did all we could. We pushed to our limit and we came in with a final time of three minutes and 49 seconds. So Josh and I took the crown by 15 seconds and have become the new king of the mountain. <laughs> now the last segment is one that tests your culinary skills while also having small challenges along the way to compete in and win the ability to sabotage your opponents. So let's head to the kitchen because it's time for Josh and I to compete trying to make the tallest stack of pancakes in the first ever Shrimp Bike Bike. Right, it's time for the first challenge. And gentlemen, in this challenge, you're competing for the use of the one cup measure for your pancake making. Stay away from my balloons. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the first challenge. Oh, thank you. Unbelievable. <sighs> Gentlemen, are you ready for the cooking to begin? Yes. yes. 30 minutes starting in three, two, one.
Now we're going in for our first flip. It's now time for challenge number two. And the aim of this challenge is for each of you to build the tallest stack of Oreos that you can build in just one minute. Oh, it's broken, we don't want that one. Oh! Crap! Give him a card! He knocked out my Oreo! <laughs> Refereeing. This is not fair. He clearly, we can go to replay VAR. <laughs> yeah. Knocked over what, Mario what stack. About the hand? <laughs> <laughs> and remember, gentlemen, these pancakes do have to be edible. Hey! Left handed flipperoonie. That side's looking pretty good. Yours is still uncooked. I've, you know, I've seen my grandpa cook spam faster than that. What are you doing over there? That's horrendous. It's a pancake scramble. 20 minutes of cooking. Oh, you're not even pancake in. And each of you has yet to produce your first pancake. First pancake on board! I might be an arm down, but I'm a leg up. <laughs> now, this that can't count. That, that can't be plated. Get that out of here! I'll show you where the trash can is. <laughs> we might be ready to plate number two. Come on. Oh, ow, ow, and that's not cooked! <laughs> <laughs> it's ten minutes remaining, and it's time for challenge number three. Oh, I just put it on! And this challenge is to open the box and pull out as many tissues as you can using only one of your hands and the time you have to do that is 15 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. I'm done! <laughs> <laughs> oh, tissues in this box! There's tissues in this box! <laughs> if Ben does win that challenge... Yeah! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> oh, it's a toe! Get that out of there! <laughs> My pancake! You have just over nine and a half minutes remaining to get your stack of cooked pancakes as high as possible. We're plating, we're plating, we're plating! I can't scrape the ball! Oh yeah, we've been hell high long! Just under three and a half minutes. Thank Just you! Three and a half minutes. Alright, I'm out of batter. I'm completing the last pancake. Gotta put it on the tallest point. Yeah. Gotta be cooked in a minute 15. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, Fire alarm. 2, 1. Okay, gentlemen, could you present your pancakes for measurement, please? That's a winning stack right there. Question the integrity of those. I'm not sure to cook. Stack right there. As you can possibly see, uh, after having studied them, uh, I don't think either stack can properly be called light and fluffy, uh, but what is definitely true is that these are at least cooked and these are in need of some further cooking. So, the winner of the inaugural Shrimp Bite are you gonna, Bun. Are you going to hold my arm? I'm it's behind my back. He's going to win, isn't he? <laughs> he is actually going to win, yeah. It's Josh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank you.
What a fun challenge that was. So Josh ended up coming out on top, not with the taller stack, but with the slightly smaller, but fully cooked stack of pancakes. So well done, Josh. But I'll be ready next time for our rematch. Well, we did it. We made it. And if you're still here at the end of the first ever episode of Fitness Frenzy, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, it's the first of many more to come. Now sure, there's still a lot of refining to do in the future, but after months of planning and hours upon hours of work, can we just take a minute to celebrate the beginning of Fitness Frenzy? But that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.